Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, I told her to take the gloves with her. <laughs> so, what I'm going to show you in this video, as per the title, is how to get the pin code from the cluster on a Corsa D. I've already showed you some time ago how to take the pin code from the airbag module. Uh, I might leave a link in the description below for that video, in case if you are interested. In this case now, I'm going to show you how to get the pin code from the cluster. Uh, now, I don't know which video is going to come out first, uh, but most likely you have seen the video, hopefully. If not, stay tuned and you'll see the video for this particular cluster, what I've been doing with it and with the IM608, okay? Um, but, uh, so that's the reason why the cluster is open. But I just put the cluster like this to quick show you how you open the cluster. To open this cluster is extremely easy. You have three screws or four screws on this side. You have one here, one in this corner here. Obviously, this, is, this would be all uh, uh, close together. And then you have two here at the back, one there and one there. Once you take that off, this part has a few tabs here that goes in there. So you need to push these tabs in. There's four tabs. Uh, close to the screws and you just pull this bit off Once you have this bit off you need to take the needles off the technique I use let me put the phone down somehow so I can actually Show you let me Sorry about that guys. Let me see if I can show you how I usually take the needles off So obviously the needles are now here now and this is obviously I need to close it after this but if the needle was in place what I usually ask, I'm going to push the needle down. Okay, so the needle is now pushed down. The way I take the needle is I use a Libby off cloth and I use these tweezers, these angle tweezers. Okay, that's how I do it. And what I do is close to the needle, I put a Libby off this, uh, it's not cloth, it's paper towel, but and then I put the tweezers underneath the needle like that. And then you just try to keep everything straight and you pull it up. Okay, it's that simple. That's how I do it. If you don't have these tweezers, I will leave a link in the description below where you can get these sort of tweezers. Really helpful. That's how I always take the needles off clusters pretty much. Um, so once you have the needles out, you have... Let me actually move this out of the way like that you have one two three four and then five and six screws again and once you have these screws you should be able to separate come on this from this and here you have the PCB okay here we have the cluster okay this also comes out from the back part if you want to take it off but there's nothing behind it really <laughs> so this is the cluster now the the EPROM on this particular cluster guys is not here at the moment the EPROM is right there because I've been working with it but the EPROM is right there so I wrote in there so I know the direction of the chip and the chip is right here there we go and as you can see in there is a 0D0 D0 so 080D0WK is a ST and this is the M35080 family uh, but this particular um, EPROM is the one with the, the incremental bytes on the first 32 bytes of the EPROM which is where the mileage is kept uh, watch the other video I explain a little bit about what's uh, with this chip what's the secret uh, with this chip or what's the the the, the main uh, problem with this chip especially if you are doing this to change mileage on the car let's say if you are swapping your clusters or something along those lines just going to wrap it the missus miss has got me some of this because i've run out i like this to clean certain stuff sometimes um so yeah as i was saying uh, there is another video i'll leave the link in the description below if that video is already out um about what's with this chip uh what's going on with the first 32 bytes of, of this chip but anyway i already I've read this chip. In this case, to read this chip, guys, any programmer capable of reading the M35080, he will be able to read the data on the chip. Um, so, no, no, really rocket science. 
uh, is the writing process that's a little bit more tricky if you want to change anything on the chip. Now, as you can see here, uh, here is some, uh, some of the data I read from the chip, okay? And uh, what I'm going to show you now, guys, is where... I'm going to use a different uh, software here, just very quick. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll use it, why not? Um, and we're going to open the file. This is X uh, Workshop. And I'm going to open that particular file. I have already a backup here, which is right... Oh, come on. Oh, my phone is running out of battery, damn it. And I was wondering why I couldn't move the mouse. It's already run out of battery. Oh, crap. Just give me a couple of minutes, guys. Right, phone is on 15. That should be enough now for a little bit. So let's try this again. Ah, that's better. So it's right there, my data. Let's gonna open this. Now, if you, I'm just gonna show you this with this software, um, uh, just to show you really, because you can, you can do this without any software. So this is the data. So the top two lines, uh, the top two lines are the mileage. It looks like the mileage is only kept on the first line in this particular uh, cluster. And then as you come down, the first thing you're going to look for is for your VIN number. Okay, so as I scroll down, I can see the VIN number already. So that's my VIN number and it's repeated twice. Just before the VIN number is your PIN code. So you can see in there. And you can see in there exactly the same. Okay. Now the only uh, particular thing with this is, just hold a second. Uh, before we continue, I just thought it would be interesting, but I'll show you in a second what cluster we are talking about. Uh, but uh, I, what, the only thing I want to show you, actually I'll show you now. So this, and you see the pin code for this cluster. So this is the part number in there. Okay, the cluster is the Johnson's controls, as you can see in there. And the pin code on this particular uh, cluster, this is a spare cluster anyway, so there's no problem if you see this and the VIN number, doesn't really bother me. Is a 4718. And what I want to show you here is that the bytes are inverted. So if you see in there is 7481, but my pin code is actually 4718. So if I select these two like that, and I go to tools, operations, yeah, that's fine. So 47, so I inverted these two. Now if I go there and do the same, There is your pin code 4718. And then obviously in there I would have to do the same, but it doesn't matter, it's just for you to see what pin code is on this particular cluster, and that's where it is located. It's just before the VIN number. Okay? And again, 4718. So I don't know if it's anything of your interest hope it is if you are looking to retrieve the pin number maybe from a hold cluster or a cluster that you want to reset maybe if you want to replace your cluster that's where the the, the pin code is and that's how you get to it as again guys to read this uh, particular EPROM uh, you have no problems loads of uh, um, loads of uh, EPROM programmers can do it is if you want to write something on it that's where the trick is. If you want to write anything after the first 32 bytes, not really an issue. If you want to write something modifying the first 32 bytes, then you might be coming in, into trouble and you need um, either a programmer that is capable of doing such or you need a blank uh, EPROM if you want to change that data. Or again, if you have the right tools, you can erase those two lines and write data no problem so i think that's going to be it for this video guys so with no further ado hope you enjoyed the video hope you have learned something hope there's some information here you guys can find useful um, again if you do have any questions any comments put them below and like always thanks for watching